Well, it's been 12 years since this thing ran. I uh, put the gas tank on it, got fluid in it, got the right head gasket on it now, and uh, I fired it up, and it started on the second kick. Pretty amazing. But I got uh, some serious leakage coming out of the, the fuel pet cock. So I'm going to have to take that apart and see if I can't fix that before I go any further. But it does run. 12 years. All right. I'm going to attempt to fire this thing back up. I fixed the fuel pet cock yesterday. It doesn't look like it's leaking. And I primed the bike. And I'm not getting fuel all over the floor, so I'm assuming I got no problem with my float bowls. I didn't put a whole lot of gas in there, so I'm going to fire this thing up. I've got my oil lines disconnected, so I'm going to have to do something there so that will catch the oil, because it's going to pump out oil. I want to make sure they're pumping before I hook them up. So, anyway... Okay, it's running. Started on the first kick. I am getting oil coming out of that one. take my heat gun and check some temps. I'm starting to see the uh, temp gauge rising. It's running on premix right now. I'm going to take my temp gate gun and check some cylinder head temps. showing 177 on this one mm, about 170 171 on this one let's look at the cylinder 170 170 Thermostat must have opened because the temperature went back down. So I'm going to shut it off. We'll let it cool down and we'll do another heat cycle. Okay, so um, I ran it through about five heat cycles. Um, maybe about a half a gallon of gas and um, the power valve motor began to spin 
and it began to go around in circles, which tells me that the controller is definitely misbehaving. Um, I had these cables connected, and I looked down at my power valve, and it was all wacko. So I'm going to do some ohm checking on the wiring on the power valve cable or the controller's cable to the connector to see if there's a broken wire in it because it just doesn't seem right. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to find anything. I think I'm just going to go with an aftermarket controller. Um, the oil pump pumped an equal amount of oil to each side. In all my running on each side, it pumped about 25 cc's of oil. Um, a uh, total of of 50 cc's. I think you can see that over here. That's 25, and that was 50, and it was half and half. So I'm getting an equal distribution of oil from the power valve or the uh, oil pump. Um, she starts every single time on the first kick. I mean, it's just amazing um, that it's that good. So. Anyway, I'm going to probably order a controller. I'll see what I can learn. I've also got a little bit of an oil leak, not on this pipe, but on this pipe up in here where it goes into the flange. It, you can see there's some oil right there. Um, and that's just spooge that I'm going to have to pull the pipe off and seal it with some uh, silicon and stick it back up in there. That's a common issue with these, and I just don't like it spooging, so I'm gonna fix that. Um, but I'm not detecting any other leaks anywhere. Um, it appears as though my O-ring solved the issue with the petcock that I was having yesterday. So I think uh, we're in good shape. I did put it in gear and run it up through uh, I think third or fourth gear sitting here on the center stand and um, it clutched fine and it uh, you know shifted okay um, and um, most of my warm-up phase was to get it up to temp which uh, went to the where the thermostat opened and it opened right around probably about 180 degrees um, and then, uh, you know, would settle back down. Um, so I know the thermostat's working, the temperature gauge is working. Um, definitely doesn't get as hot as it used to when it was uh, bored out two millimeters over bore, 66 instead of 64. Um, let's see, what else can I say today? Not much. I think that's probably it. Oh, I did rev it um, to 6,000, uh, you know, do a, a sweep from like four to six quite a few times. And um, I did do a couple of sweeps all the way to nine. Um, and buddy, when this thing hits five grand from five to nine, it goes in a hurry. Um, that's what makes this bike so much fun. Um, anyway. We'll uh, continue working on it. Um, it might be a while before I get an ignition and power valve controller and get that issue solved, but I think that's going to be the next part of the project. So for those of you wondering if I have the rest of the fairing parts, there's the fairing, unblemished. That's the original air box. Not going to do anything with that. I'll just keep it for somebody if I sell the bike. Um, there's the lower fairing shroud radiator guard and the, the um, side covers so and these are the upper radiator or panels I have all the parts um, just not putting them all on there's the original owner's manual a shop manual all my receipts from everything I ever bought some extra sets of plugs and the original toolkit and of course in this box or bowl here is all the remaining parts to go back on it. So anyway, that's all for now.